Good morning, John. Good morning. How's it going? It's good. It's, uh, the big day has arrived. So um, we're here. And we're about to start, well, we're starting event two, which is our going to be our first event. Okay. How do you, do you feel the athletes are going to do this one? Do you talk about strategies with them yet? Or? Yes. So we've been through. It's, it's like a very high rep um, workout. So some athletes will be looking to go unbroken from the start. Some athletes will look to divide and it's kind of dependent on their shoulder to overhead capacity. Okay. And um, then obviously we have the 100 uh, one arm overhead squats. And so mobility is going to play a factor for some athletes as well. Do you think that like the time cap is light compared to like what they're going to do? Yeah, I think this, in this one the time cap's light. Some okay. workouts are going to see a tight time cap, but this one everyone should get through. What do you think we're going to see like top times? Like yeah. sub 13? Yeah, I think we'll see sub 13. So someone here told me 12 minutes yesterday. Yeah, I think so. I think okay. it'll be sub 12, I think we'll see. Awesome. <laughs> and what about Friendly Friends this afternoon? Well, I think this, you know, just the one everyone's excited to see, excited to do. It's going to be, I think, maybe the hardest workout of the weekend in terms of that push. It's hard, you know, we're not all uh, phrases, so going unbroken everything is not a strategic plan for most. And therefore, way divide becomes quite important. I really like the workout as well because dividing at the start doesn't really affect the, the end of the workout. The end of the workout is just hard, no matter what you kind of do at the start. So it's, uh, it's a good one to really uh, test, basically. Gabby, how are you feeling? Excited. It's, it's good to start with the dumbbell workout instead of friendly front. Yeah? I think so, yeah. Like, it's way too early to hit the nervous system like that with the friendly front. So we're going to do that afternoon, round four. Do you have any like, strategy going in the workout? Yeah, very easy. Unbroken. Yeah? No, the overhead. I'm going to split them somehow. And the last set of uh, shoulder to overhead is going to be, of course, uh, hard. So then I will try to do maybe three sets. Okay. I'm feeling confident. Yes, I think so. I think it's a good workout for me. I, I need all the points I, I have, so I'm going to push this one. Can we get an oversized foam roller? Yes, it's really big, perfect. Christoph, do you want to film this? Yeah. Christoph? Make sure I'm not visible in this video because I'm not liable for any damages. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry. How are you feeling about the, the first day? Um, it's gonna be nice to get them over it because these are the workouts I'm like that I think is worse for me, but I'm gonna try my best, of course. Okay. So it's nice to just be done with the uh, two that I'm not looking forward to. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any strategy going in like the first workout? that you guys are doing, which is THD and uh, dumbbell? I'm going to split the reps more than I did when we first tested it, okay. at least. That's my only strategy. <laughs> Ready to rumble? Yes. Are you excited for today's workouts? Yeah, you... I'm excited to get it going. Okay. Yeah, be good to get, get it going. Uh, today's workout, they're the fine. That's not my favorite workouts, but I don't, I don't mind them either. Uh, but I'm excited to just get it rolling. Yeah? Yeah. Just like build up through the weekend kind yes. of? Yes. Hopefully. We'll see. No, it'll be interesting. It's, um, it's quite stressful not having your competitors next to you. So you can't, like, you, we're kind of going blind a bit. Uh, luck in the sense that we are five people doing it together. So we're going to have a bit of a sense of what's a good time and what's not a good time. But at the same time, like, I do... I do like the live competition and seeing your competitors, so it's going to be different, but you just have to send it. Do you feel like, even though you're not doing an online comp, like the fact that so many people are going to do these workouts who are going to go to the games, like you will have like much more data compared to other athletes to compare yourself against well, this, this, like half this the is, field? This is true. We are going to have a lot of data to see kind of where you're at uh, compared to everyone else doing these workouts, even though I'm just competing against the people in, in German. I'm going to... I will be able to compare and get data, like you say, from Lowlands and 
the the other competition next week as well. So we are gonna we're gonna get a very good picture of you know where we at in the field when it comes to these workouts. And then you know CrossFit, and there might be very like very different workouts, and then you don't have any data. So, but yeah, it'd be it's gonna be an interesting weekend. Do you have a strategy going into workout? Uh, I think this is the maybe the simplest workout that we have uh, have this weekend. It's one of those that you can push a bit. It's not too much strategy going in. Um, that being said, I have to be a bit smart about the shoulder top right because it's a lot of uh, it's a lot of shoulders. If you reach failure, failure on the on the shoulder top right, you're going to struggle. So I have to be a bit smart about the the shoulder top right. Other than that, it's just about just grinding really. Was it like harder than it looked on paper? I did try it before. Okay. And it was harder this time because you pushed harder. Okay. Very happy with how you did. I'll set it up. Just give me the I don't know what time I got. So I don't know. You have to take your time. I did my. I did my best. Erica, how are you? I'm really bad. Really bad. But I think you did really good as well. Well, thank you. I hope so. I. <laughs> No, it was really bad, this one. Where did you get the idea of the, the password being Madrid from? <laughs> <laughs> she was like, Madrid, I'm from <laughs> I just took everyone, and then it may be someone inside. Yeah. I got it right in the end, so. Did it hurt more than in training? Yeah, a lot. Okay, but do you think it is? Like how much faster do you think you went compared to like training? Uh, I have no idea which time I got. So no one knows their time pretty much. Do you know the time? Yeah. <laughs> how was that, Matilda? That was awful. Really, really. Are we happy with how we did? No. I'm like really disappointed actually. But just have to do my best the rest of the weekend. Try to climb. First one's always the hardest. Yeah. Thank you, team. No worries. Are you like a part time chiropractor as well? Uh, sport masseuse. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Come in great. Best judge ever. <laughs> On to the next one. Yes, thank you. Are, you. are you happy with how we did? I think so. It was pretty something second improvement from the uh, the that time when we tried for the first time, so I'm quite happy. Good. What is yeah. the hardest part of the workout? We just need hmm. I need to, I, I think like the fast transition because it's easy to take them to... Be slow on them? Mm -hmm. I, I think the, the hardest was the last set of shoulder to overhead. Like your grip is, uh, it's tired after the, all the deadlifts and uh, shoulders are tired after overhead squats. So like there is a perfect, uh, you can compare like the first set, everyone basically went unbroken on 50 shoulder to overhead. And the last set, everyone were like three or more sets. So it shows perfectly how the last part was. Hard. Good. Fr friendly friend next. Not so friendly. I'm, I'm like, 
I'm a little bit excited to see all the drama finishes after a friendly friend. <sighs> Say the password! <laughs> Say the password! like this, Madrid. <laughs> and also the password is so funny, like Berlin. Berlin, because the... I had bicycle. I said bicycle. No, I said, the I said Berlin like and uh, Madrid, so I... Fine. Are you feeling better now? Uh, it's better, but I'm not. I'm not okay. Are you gonna go in an ice bath? Yeah, ice bath. For sure. And honestly, everything hurts a bit. No, my legs are pretty bad, but like everything from like here. No. It's like it didn't feel. It didn't feel that bad during the workout. But afterwards, it's just like, hit you. I feel a bit drunk, actually. Do you do better than in uh, training? Because I haven't checked my time. But I think so. I pushed, I pushed it more now. Like, I had some breaks and stuff. What was, like, the hardest part for you? I think the hardest part was the GHDs. They're just so slow and I find them quite tiring. Um, so that's, like, the, the, the one that I found the most demanding, like, on the body. Uh, but I struggled the most with that, the overhead squats. For your, uh, your thoughts? So, I think it's very good morning. We started, we started with the GHD workout. And uh, like always online, it's hard to know where, where the athletes will place exactly, so it's a bit of a waiting game. But all of the athletes pushed. I think it was a good energy, good setup, and, uh, and the location did work well for us. So they've gone... They were rested. We went over to kind of go help Mundy and Solveig as well in the in the break. Who were starting with uh, with the friendly Fran. Girls rest up and then they come back here and we then go on to to friendly Fran. Yeah. Awesome. Why did you decide to go with event two first instead of event one first? So this is the one we went back and forth on the most with which order we should do. We chose a decision. So. I think Friendly Fran is going to be one of the hardest workouts of the weekend. And so we wanted to ease into that, that first workout. I also think for the, the girls especially that we have that the second event won't be that taxing for, for Friendly Fran. They will be able to recover. Whereas I think the implications of Friendly Fran might actually be harder on the next workout. So there's a bit of a, a double one there. The, the shoulder to overhead, the tiredness in the legs might affect the... If you have a lot of reps in the next one, so those are the two main reasons for the, the choices. Awesome. Are you happy like of how the, the girls did? Yeah, of course. You know, they, you can't ask for more than them putting everything out there. And you know, as you saw, especially from uh, Erica and Casper, uh, I think everything was left on the, on the floor. So the main thing is if they can recover up to now and then go back to the next event. What do you think is going to be the, the important thing for the girls going to friendly friend? Like is there like no reps are costly and breaks can be costly as well. Yeah, breaks and no reps. I think I think it's a really good workout purely because it's really hard to manage manage the fatigue so you're fresh on the last bar. It's like when you arrive to that last bar you're gonna be tired kind of no matter what you've done before that. So I quite like that that you know you're just gonna have to, to fight throughout to, to get there. And I do think we will see like big improvements from the uh, the game's times. So I think we'll see improvements, especially the athletes who did it last year. We'll probably see improvements across the board. Awesome. Any good comments on the, the, the setup and how everything is going? It's nice, you know, like both Christoph and I, we've put a lot of work into getting this, uh, this place set up and ready. So the fact that, you know, the athletes can come in, they really do not have to stress about anything. Just rock up, do their workout done. Um, that's good. One of the big changes we did is with the ring muscle up one, so I'm excited to see how that one goes down as well. What up? Ladies? Hello. Really?
still well executed. How did you how did you break your uh, your sets if you remember? Uh, I'm broken the first round, and then 15 10 on both rounds of the thrusters. 15 10. No. Oh. <laughs> 15 6. Uh, 15 6 on the second round of uh, pull ups, not chest to bars, and then 10 no 11 10 on the last one. Kind of wanted to hold on, but uh, my grip. I think I think you put out a, a very very strong performance. Thank you. It's one of those like I think watching maybe doesn't look that bad. Yeah. But like the girl like saying you're just riding like such a fine line between just being able to hang on to the bar and then just like failing. Erica, how are you feeling after friendly friend? Less dramatic than after the, the first yeah. workout of the day. I know it's a different feeling, a totally different feeling. But it was uh, the two first rounds was okay. It felt okay, and then it just hits you, and you're just gone. The whole body and mind, and yeah. Looking back, are you happy that you did the second one in the morning and now this one? Seeing how this like was tough, or? Uh, I think we made the, the right choice. For us as a group, um, this one would have been uh, bad either way. So I think it was the right choice for us. I had I was like, how the hell I did that last year unbroken? The second round. But, but you broke still, up three times the, exactly. the third round. Yes, but here the same. It, I was just faster on chest to bar, much faster compared to last year. That was basically the, the difference. How do you, how do you feel about the athletes? Um, what are your thoughts on the day, friend to friend? Friend to friend. So it was a very solid first day. We believe, you know, the nice thing about this is like all you can base this on is how the athletes performed and the effort they put in. And each one of the athletes here put in a great effort. So I'm sure it's going to be a bit of a waiting game, you know, to see where they are on the leaderboard tonight. But in essence, it's a really solid first day one. It's going to be exciting to see how uh, muscle-ups feel tomorrow after all the, the pressing. But, uh, but kind of that's for tomorrow. They're going to go enjoy the uh, cold, cold tub now. Christoph and I are going to go run, watch more CrossFit. And, uh, and then we'll be back here tomorrow morning. Awesome. See you tomorrow morning.